Hi, it's me, the Vertical Supply 17. So, let's get down to this review slash rant or whatever. I just saw last night the Total Recall remake. Why did I go see it? Well, I wanted to see if it was slightly better than the original Total Recall. Yes, I do have it. But in this case, um... I didn't really hate this movie. I didn't really love it. I found some things in it, you know, very entertaining. You know, there were some parts in the movie I did sort of enjoy. Like, uh... Kate Beckinsale's character. Who literally was the true villain in this whole entire movie. And we also have the father from Malcolm in the Middle. That's his name right here. And we also have, uh the true love interest that's in this movie, you know, basically, that's basically it. Colin Farrell in this movie, he was okay. He was mildly okay, mildly a good actor, and, you know, even though he's not better than Arnold Schwarzenegger, but one thing is certain, that he looked like he was enjoying doing this character, you know, getting into his, his character. I mean, in the beginning, yeah, you do sort of feel for his character, you know, you do sort of feel him, because he's in a, because this guy's literally in a rut. He's totally in a rut. He's totally, you know, not content where he's at. But, you know, where have you heard that in, in any other movie? Oh, yeah! A hundred fucking times! I mean, same thing from Matrix, Wanted, and a couple other movies that we all know and probably might remember but in this case I really think that this really draws the line of being totally cliche but one thing I will say this movie does have really good awesome effects that's it really good awesome effects that is it nothing else I can possibly say the effects with the uh, police cars or the cars themselves where they hover in the air I mean yeah but there are some parts of the movie I was like, you're saying, really, you couldn't have done this? Or, basically just nitpicking the movie just to death. I mean, if you want to nitpick the movie to death, you know, you can do that. But if you really want to, you know, hope it is better than the original Total Recall, you're going to probably be a little bit disappointed. Because it clearly isn't, isn't better than the original Total Recall. Matter of fact, the original Total Recall was still a classic. So I would recommend you watch that before you watch this. And one thing that bugged me the living, the living shit out of me. One thing that bugged the crap out of me is when they actually show. Now, see if you remember this. Remember the chick with the uh, three tits? Now she shows her three tits. Oh wait, can, can I say one thing? If this movie's PG-13, why are you gonna show women? This woman showing three tits. That makes no sense. If you're going to make it rated R, make it rated R. Why show a woman showing her three tits in public? Her flashing her tits. I mean, it's, I mean, it's like telling movies nowadays. If your movie's PG-13, you're going to have your chicks flashing their boobs. It's supposed to be PG-13. How are you going to show a woman showing her fucking tits? That makes no sense. If you're going to do that, you might as well call it Rated R. It might as well be a Rated R movie. I mean, the whole chick with the three tits thing just happens just like that. Some of the things that we may remember from the original movie just happens just like that. Some of the other things in this movie are actually well entertaining, but they're just basically nitpicking. Little nitpicks, I would probably say. But I really want to. I. Yeah. I don't know if you should even let your kid even go see this movie because they're going to be like, My God, is she showing her tits? Why is she showing her tits? Oh, I feel a little shaken. You know, shit like that. You know, it's just going to probably not really mess up your kid, but probably get, make your kid a lot more curious. You know, really curious. But, you know, still, 
One thing I will say that this movie does have really good effects. Like, this, well, well, the action scenes were pretty badass, I will give it that. Uh, like I said, Kate Beckinsale, she actually does play a convincing villain throughout through the beginning through the end. But, yeah, the original story, yeah, he does go to recall, he does become a fugitive, the people that he know in his life turn against him, you know, his wife, you know, is working for Koi Haken, Koi Haken, yeah, I can't say this guy's name right, but you get the idea, you know who I'm talking about. Basically, if you want to compare this movie together, I mean, you know, I would just stick with the original one. Seriously, just stick with the original one. You know, they, we have a couple of, you know, all right performances. I mean, some stereotypical performances. One thing that really stood out the most is where the black guy who was Colin Farrell's best friend, Harry, you know, when he comes, when he comes in, in that one scene where they're at the, I don't know, the apartment building or something like that, when he ends up trying to convince them that, you know, you're still in recall, this is all just a dream, your wife's really here. You know, that scene just really just dragged out a lot. I mean, it was just really dragging out a lot and really getting old very fast. No, I mean, really getting really old very fast. I mean, they keep going on and on and on, saying stuff from stuff from stuff. And when he finally shoots the guy, I'm like, thank you! Let's get to the story now! <sighs> but basically, this is not... If you're wondering if this is centered around in... Um, in uh, Mars? No, it's not centered around Mars. It's centered around Earth, and just only Earth. That's it. You know, we do have some other stuff, you know, in this movie. That you probably might not give a damn about. To be honest... I don't think people are going to really not go see this movie, or not even bother to go see this movie, because they might think, oh, it's just another remake, just, who gives a damn? And, I gotta tell you the truth, there was like, I don't know, maybe like, seven or nine people in the theater, and I was in a big theater, I was in a really big theater, the theater I usually go to that I once showed you guys, usually it has like more, than, usually it was like, I don't know, like, 20, 30... 50 people in the theater, but you know, there were not that many people that saw this movie in the theater that I was at, because I saw it at midnight showing, so I really wasn't sure if people were, were going to see this movie or not, but one thing I will say, this movie does, uh, you probably might have, like I said, you might nitpick it up, you might Complain like why is that in there? Why do they have to do this or like why would they do something like that? Or why would the characters do some stupid shit like that? But I will say this movie was pretty predictable like I knew what was gonna happen Like they had a sh in the trailer of this movie literally showed all the best parts in it So yeah, so in other words, it's basically your typical obvious remake That's it That's all I can basically say about it just your basic, typical, obvious remake. That's all I can basically say. But all, all that aside, I mean, the movie has really good effects. I mean, I would give it two points. Good, somewhat good acting. Eh, two more points. But that's not my rating. My rating for this movie is basically two and a half stars. You know. That's all I can basically say. I mean, nothing at all I would say that's great. But still, you know, if you are... But, you know, when Arnold said something in the original Total Recall movie, when he said, Screw you! You know, saying stuff like that. You know, Colin Farrell, he may not be Arnold Schwarzenegger, but he does an okay job. But, you know, I would just, just stick with the original one. Seriously. But, all that aside, uh, Total Recall, it gets enough for me. I mean, it's our, I think it's an okay movie. That's all I can basically say, it's okay. 
I would say it's kind of up there. I was I would say it's kind of up there with maybe Battleship, and you know I know many people hate it, Battleship, but yeah, it's kind of the same kind of stuff that we're getting from Battleship. Just really good effects. That's all you basically gonna get. But overall, that's all I can basically say. Vertical Spy. Signing out.